Good morning, you guys. I am so excited because I have not vlogged a trip, I feel like, in over a year. I mean, I'm not 100% sure if that's the case, but it feels like it's been at least a year. And we are going on a little trip this weekend. We're going to Frankfurt, Kentucky and touring some distilleries. This is more of Chris's type of thing but I really enjoy going and checking everything out. I'm not a big bourbon drinker or whiskey drinker, but I'm sure I can find something to drink. I'm making us some coffee for the road. It's only about an hour and a half to two hour drive, depending on traffic. So not a long car ride, which is great because I'm actually not a fan of car rides. Mm, not my thing. So the first thing we're gonna do is look for a little lunch spot. And then I think our tour is at one and then we can check into our Airbnb at three. And then tonight we have dinner reservations just at a really cute little chill spot. And then tomorrow we have two distillery tours, which we're thinking we're a little more excited about those. Today is Buffalo Trace, which is like Chris's all time favorite drink in the whole wide world. Uh, and then tomorrow it's Woodford and lock and key and the lock and key place looks really cool it looks like it's in kind of like a castle i'm really excited about that tour so we're gonna finish up packing and hit the road so i will see you in frankfurt kentucky This place is so neat. They have their own garden to table, farm, um, restaurant. Now we're in the little nursery that they have here too. It's really, really cool. It's gorgeous. The food was great. Both our sandwiches were good. Both the soups were good. Um, just trying to kill some time before we have to go to Buffalo Trace. Um, so this was a amazing spot. <laughs> Chris is in love. He's down. <laughs> he said he felt like he was in a conservatory, but he just found some stuff. It's hard not to buy anything, um, but he is like one happy camper being here. He said he found some cats. Oh, look how cute this is. Oh, that is so cute. It would be really amazing if I could find a pot to take home because y'all know how I am about my pots. Um, and it looks like they have some out here. So if they have any pretty pots, I definitely want one. Oh yeah, they have some big pots. Look at these. Wow, they are beautiful. So I'm very proud of myself. I actually walked out with no pots. Resist the temptation. <laughs> Nothing. My shopping addiction went on the back burner. All right, so what we're gonna do now is go get a drink by Buffalo Trace. Our tour's at one. It's currently almost 11.30. So just killing time. But the good news is getting down here early, we're not rushed. So we're really happy about that. I was trying to get in the spirit of things and already start the trip off with a bourbon drink. We got beer. That's actually pretty good. Yes. 
Could I drink another one of these? Probably not, but I can deal with this for now. But we have about 40 minutes before we need to be at Buffalo Trace, and it's like five minutes up the road, which is cool. So we're gonna finish up our drinks here and then tour. First taster. What is it? It's um, Travelers. Travelers. Yep. Chris Stapleton's new one. <laughs> I don't like anything. It's fine. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we just got to our Airbnb. It's really cute. This room is like huge. Bathroom there, fireplace. It's really, really cute. And then we go down the stairs. <laughs> then we go down the stairs. We're sleeping in the loft. But here is the downstairs. Really cute. Really, really, really cute. So Buffalo Trace was really cool. We learned a lot of history. And there's How many actually. Have they been open? I don't know. <laughs> 230. Seven. Or 237. Right? 237. So I was close. Yeah. And um, I thought he said it was like since 17, um, 1786. Is that right? Is that It sounds right. Years? It sounds right. I don't know. I gotta, I gotta do math. I don't now. know. My math doesn't math. So. What did I say 1786? That's 238, so it's probably 237. I think I was right, and then you know, it doesn't always work out perfectly. And the two on the month. divide by whatever, anyway. It was much bigger than I thought, and I actually drank all my whiskey and bourbon. Yeah, there's a difference between whiskey and bourbon that a lot of people didn't know. I actually did know that from another distillery tour we did um, in Nashville, but um, I drank all my whiskey and all my bourbon, and I'm really proud of myself because I've never done that. Oh, that was all just bourbon? It was all bourbon. Okay, so I drank all my bourbon. What we're about to do is go check out the town, probably go get some drinks. We do have dinner reservations at 5.30. The good news is this Airbnb is right around like the main part of this little town. So everything is basically within a two block radius, which is cool. It is almost 70 degrees outside. It's absolutely gorgeous. So we lucked out with the weather, but yeah, we're about to head out. So let's go. Good morning! We just got ready, heading out to get some coffee and a little breakfast. We have about an hour to kill, so it'll be good timing. It's a little chilly out right now. It's about 53, but I think it's going to get up to like 72 today, which will be amazing. There is a Reds game on later. 410, baby. <laughs> 410. Go Red Legs. So our first stop of the distillery tour today is Woodford. And then later is Castle, Castle Key or Castle and Key, I don't Castle know. And Castle and Key, uh, which is really exciting. Last night we just got dinner 
and um, went back to our little loft apartment at like, I don't know, 10-ish. Got up a little early this morning, so a little tired, but nothing that some lattes can't fix. So uh, this little place looks super cute. So that tour was awesome. Now what we're gonna do is get a Woodford bottle engraved, which is super cool. You can get it engraved. It takes like five to 10 minutes. So we just have to fill out this little pamphlet thing and then they'll take it back and get it engraved. What bottle are you get engraved? Nice. So that's what we'll get engraved. So beautiful. Getting it filled out. Well, I like the way that they did that. So like that. Yeah, I would do it like that. That's cool. The calligraphy. Mm -hmm. oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> so sweet. Yeah. It's
<laughs> We've been drinking since 10. She Excuse just, us. She just dropped the mic. Literally dropped the mic. That's Is this supposed to be where we're supposed to? I don't know the trail. Is this it? Multiples. Let's go. Let's so we have go. eight minutes. Yeah, they're shutting down, apparently. They're shutting down. They're, gotta get out of here. <laughs> they're shutting us down. But what I wanted to do was tell you guys something those who actually wanted to do these tours i think it's important to tell you a couple of things i this is a dead end there was a cup there was a tour at woodford that was different woodford. than woodford different than the tour we did at Bur buffalo trace <laughs> we've been drinking since 10 so please excuse us but i want to get like she's not going to use any of this footage <laughs> it's so bouncy yes i will but i want him to explain the difference between buffalo trace Woodford in here with the tours for those who are interested. Buffalo Trace is right in basically downtown Frankfort, Kentucky, which we had the fortunate experience of like staying about five minutes away from there. We did the Trace tour at Buffalo Trace, which was um, basically like your your generic, uh, I don't know, your generic distillery tour. Would recommend it 100%. Mm -hmm. Like whatever you can get tickets for Buffalo Trace, just jump on it. But Woodford was just like relaxed, like yeah. same with Castle and Key here, like super chill experience. Great, like um, I don't know. In fact, I, I would say the experience was better than Buffalo Trace. I agree. The the spirits, you know, eh, it's each their own. But I like I like Buffalo still. By the way, when we did Buffalo Trace, they're off for Easter weekend, so. The footage I got, they weren't working. But if you were to come and do that tour where you get to go to the different parts, they would be working and you'd be able to see like them rolling the, the bourbon barrels and yeah. in the and now I'll insert footage, the part where they would have been in there and like working. Right. That would be cool and we're talking about coming back to be able to see that. Right. But because of that it's Easter weekend and Good Friday and stuff, they were off. That's so probably, that made a that's big probably true for all of them. May, yeah, 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 yeah. So, so I mean, they, there's yeah. a difference with that. I 100% agree. But but at Woodford, it was chill. Like, it was cool. Uh, Woodford Same was... Same with uh, here. You guys will see the footage, I'm sure. But that yeah. tasting experience was neat. It was different. You know, it was like uh, a l little more laid back. Like, not a walking tour like uh, we had on but Buffalo. But that's what we chose. Yeah, it was intentional, right? We wanted to yeah. change it up a little bit. Once you do one distillery, like basically you've seen them all. I mean, mm -hmm. the grounds even are the, even the, the the tour guide said that. Yeah, the grounds are different. You know, their operations are different, but the process is the same. So it's like we don't want to wear ourselves down with doing the same thing over and over. So we did basically what we did is a a full distillery tour at Buffalo Trace. Then at Woodford, we did a tasting tour with like small bites, whatever, which you guys have seen. And then in Castle and Key, we did a cocktail experience, which was super cool because yes. they're mixing drinks down in like a little, like, uh, you know, it's it's kind of a little, um, what's that called? Like a little. No idea. You just have to choose the different distillery tours that you are interested in. So I want to make that very clear because I can see that being very confusing. So, our three distillery tours are over. Now it is down to doing whatever the hell we want, which is amazing. So, we will choose a dinner date tonight and go from there. So all three distilleries, what it was, was amazing. And I highly recommend it, but it was, it was, it was cool to be able to do.